Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. And yes, I am still alive. I have not disappeared. Uh, the last three weeks have been uh, chaotic. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there's been a lot happening uh, since the, the last video, which was the group dig where the, 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 the the outstanding James the Sixth Gold coin was found. I have not been able to get out detecting for one minute, and that is without a word of lie. So this is the first time I've been out in about three weeks, and it is so good to get back out. Uh, I had a lot, I say, a lot going on uh, between the weather, which has been absolutely horrendous. It has basically rained every single day. Uh, also snowed, been frosty. Uh, and then that, you know, between the work uh, as well, I'm self-employed, so it's been very, very busy. Uh, and then obviously Christmas, um, my mum was rushed into hospital as well. So I've been uh, up and down to Glasgow uh, to visit her. So it's been just non-stop, non-stop, and I've had no time to do anything metal detecting related at all. So... Apologies for the for the, the video being um, so long since the last one, but here we are today. Um, I've only got a couple of hours, um, so we'll, we'll give it a good go. I'm back on the, the smithy field as well, so we'll see how we go. I don't even care what I find today. It's just good to get back out and get a bit of fresh air, clear the head. Uh, I think Andy will be here in about 10, 15 minutes, so it'll be good to get a, a catch up with him as well, see how see how he's been doing the past few weeks so uh, it's myself and the trusty Deus2 again today still running version 0 0.71 um, we'll give it another go and see how, how we how we fare with that so um, yeah let's go on with it and we'll see you on the first hole okay here we go this is the first one it's not a great signal um, but there's not been much happening I've been going about 20 minutes half an hour it's a jumping around mid 60s, 66 up to 68. Uh, I dug one bit of iron further over there. Um, it was a bit dodgy, that's why I never, I never recorded it, but I was just sort of messing about with a couple of different settings. Andy's also here as well. He is over there somewhere. I don't know if you can see him round about there anyway. Um, so, I so just got a quick catch up with him. Uh, I was chatting to him for about 15 minutes or so. So, anyway, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, those kind of numbers I'm not expecting much good. Sounds a bit worse now that I've taken the top off. <coughs> oh, God. And we are indeed out over here. Let's have a look. <coughs> it's in here somewhere. Put the little button in there. So we're in here somewhere. I can see something green. Just down about there, I think it's just a bit of, bit of junk copper, probably. No, oh, I've had one of these before. I've had one of them before. I'm never actually entirely sure. It's like a, maybe like a hinge or a clasp. I'm not sure. So if I've had them before... <clears throat> And I never know what they are. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's probably about an inch, an inch long, quite thin copper or brass. Probably a bit of a furniture or something along those lines. There we go. That's the first, first decent signal of today. This is a little squeaky 85, 86. It's pretty good that direction, but not so good. Well, it's non-existent that direction. But it could be something on its side, something pretty small anyway, so we'll give it a go. Maybe a little bit of lead or a little bit of, just a little bit of copper. Mm. 
the soil is so sticky. It's sticking to everything. And this field's always the same. Jeez. We're out. We're out. And it's sounding pretty rubbish. You can hear that. So it's probably going to be a bit of iron. I think I might be able to see it over there. In there. And that is, yep, a big bit of iron. Well, it's a bit of misshapen iron. I can't, I mean, <clears throat> see, that's the. It didn't sound, I was getting no iron buzz, so does that mean that 0.71 isn't any better than 1.1 or version 2? But iron, there was no iron. There was no iron grunt at all from it, although there was nothing, <clears throat> you know, it was good one one direction uh, and non-existent the other, so, you know, would you dig it or do you take a risk? Uh, so, dug it anyway, and it's a bit iron, so, not ideal, but, yeah, every day's a school day. Ah, this was a little one on the surface, <clears throat> uh, just a little bit of a junk, it's like furniture wear type thing, or... Something from a window, probably screwed in a couple of holes on it and a little fixing in the middle there. Yeah, it's not been great so far. Um, Andy's the same. I think we've maybe done this this little bit of the, the field to death, to be honest. So I think we'll maybe, or I'll certainly maybe move further up the hill um, and see how we go up there. Uh, but it's so good to be out. Uh, not raining, a little bit of blue sky. Um, I'll try and show you. Up there. A little bit of blue sky. So yeah, walk off some of those uh, mince pies and beers that I've, I've had uh, over the festive period, so, but yeah, um, okay, um, on to the next, hopefully something a bit better. So this is what I'm using today, um, I'm on my own park, uh, discrimination 6.8, sensitivity at 90, Frequency shift at 4, iron volume at 5, now remember this is 0 0.71 so it's a bit different. Uh, reactivity 2.5, audio response at 5, uh, back around there. Uh, I've got silencer on at 1, I'm just trying that out to see if it quietens uh, the machine down a little bit. Tones, using 5 tones, PWM, uh, I'll not bother showing you all my tone breaks uh, unless you particularly want to see them. Bottle cap 0, notch 23 to 25 to take out some of that annoying coke that's about and back round to silence it as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the speaker on I'm going to leave it live and we'll go a quick walk up here for about five minutes and just to let you listen to how the machine sounds so I hope you can hear it and see everything that I'm doing so yeah did everybody have a good Christmas and New Year um, it's not quite New Year yet as I'm filming this but when it's out it will be New Year it's, the, it's Friday the 29th, I think. Losing track of all days and time and what date it is. Um, so, yeah, it's been good. Uh, I, say, I mentioned my mum's up in the hospital, so we've been up and down there and tried to go it's up in Glasgow. It's, it's, it's about a 40 minute drive to get up there, and she's, she's in a bad way, but she's getting better. So, hopefully. Hopefully she'll be out in a few weeks to a month. Um, she took quite a bad turn. Uh, so had a had an aneurysm, um, which is a, a bleed on the brain. Uh, very, very lucky. Uh, so, but yeah, we're not going to any more of that. It's a bit depressing. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see how we go. We're moving up over the Moving up onto the brow of the hill, I think Andy's doing the same. He's had zero as well, other than the bits and pieces that you've saw. Uh, I, see, I think we've done that little bit of field up there to death. It's probably needing another plough turned over just to see if it brings anything back up again. It's a little squeaky one. 
53, 54, sounds okay. We'll dig that one out. Oh, a stone. Perfect spade placement there. Also managed to get some new welly boots. Uh, the other ones I've got are good, are good, but they're very heavy. Um, I always felt like I was carrying two bags of concrete around on my feet, but these little neoprene ones I got out of uh, Aldi. Other budget stores are available. Um, $24.99, nice and light, pretty comfortable. Uh, so, yep, a little, a little purchase. Where are we? Did we, are we out there? I thought I was sure we'll get out. Maybe not. Let's over the machine again. We are out. So I'm wondering like, oh no, there we go. It's in here somewhere. Sorry, Mr. Warren. Nothing. Oh. Forgetting how to do this. God, it's only been three weeks. Another worm. I think it's maybe in this bit of grass here. Ugh. Yeah, we're in here somewhere. Right. A green worm. What's going on? So it turns out it was right in the surface all along. This is proving tricky. Hey. <laughs> Enjoys of being live. I feel something in there. See if this is a bit of foil or... Oh my god, I think it is. Oh yeah, worth, worth sticking about for that. Bit of aluminium. Garbage. Anyway. Let's go. Oh, the gear back in. We'll do another couple of minutes. We're going to fight this five minutes. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun. You've got to dig those ones as well. Those could be a little hammered coin. <laughs> nah, I don't think we'll bother with that one. A little bit of iron it. Doesn't sound great. I don't have a lot of time today, so... I'm trying not to dig absolutely everything, I'm trying to cherry pick the better signals. What do you think? 71, 72? Again a bit scratchy, no, we'll leave that one. A bit broken, sorry if you can hear me sniffing away here. I've had the cold for the past week, the whole family's got it. Uh, the boys have got it, wife's got it. Um, and I just cannot properly shift it. So my nose has been running constant and the boys have been coughing their lungs up. It's just all, hey, it's all been fun and games. Um, but we did have a great Christmas. The boys are spoiled rotten. And I got uh, a nice little gift from the parents, which is a digital microscope. So I've had a little play around with that and it's absolutely brilliant. Just lets you get right in to see all the detail. Um, if you're struggling to see some writing, um, you can get right in, uh, and it's you know it's crystal clear. It's one of these little ones with the the, the built-in screen on it. You can plug it into your laptop or your phone, should you wish. Mm, nah, I will take that one. Again, it sounds it sounds right on the surface. Let's uh, let's have a little let's have a little look just in case. Uh, you never know. It's one of those ones where you don't dig it and you always think about, oh, should I have dug that? 
and then you dig it out, and then you go away, and then you come back again. So on the surface, so it's probably going to be another little bit of foil. Yeah. Uh, Oh, there we go. What have we got? Let's have a turn it off first of all. Be quiet. Um, oh, it's a... It's a bit of a pen knife, or a pocket knife. It's all the... All this is all broken away. That would have been... You can see the, the shape of it there. So the blades would have been... And there some would have snapped off and the body probably would have been wooden um, I'd imagine that's long gone uh, and this is some sort of either a blade or some sort of structure of the pen knife as well so yeah it probably belonged to the farmer or a farm worker there you go always worth taking nice little find nice little relic a bit of history there as well so yeah that's not too bad but i'm going to switch off now and because uh, you've been getting bored of this I hear a man always running and sniffing and all that kind of stuff, so we'll see you on the next hole. Okay, here we go, this is a better one. Best, definitely the best signal of today so far. 93. Yep, pretty consistent. I don't know, I was maybe picking up a little, a little bit of a buzz at the end of it. Could be a... Could be like a big buckle or something like that. They normally come in with these kind of numbers. Uh, it does sound quite, quite big. I don't think it's anything Victorian anyway. At that, and it doesn't sound like it's going to be silver. So it could be, maybe something Georgian. Well, we are out. What can we see? Can we see anything? Hopefully something round. And silver would be good, but I don't think it is. Is it? It's still in the hole, apparently. Let's see if we can dig it out. No, no, I can see something there. Something here. Oh, good. It's junk. Bit of copper pipe or something. There we go. I think. Yeah, it was definitely not a ring. Yeah, just a bit of junk, probably farm machinery. Ah well. <sighs> On we go. I'm trying to stay as positive as I can. I'm trying not to be too uh too underwhelmed and doer. Uh as somebody uh, somebody commented, uh which made me chuckle a little bit. Um but Likes of that, you can't really get too excited, unfortunately. So anyway, on we go. Well, I'm just taking a little, a little biscuit break. Um, I'm absolutely starving. It's about one o'clock. I've uh, been going maybe about an hour and a half, and not gonna lie, it's not been great today. Uh, but I say I'm gonna take the positives out of it that I've managed to get out, clear the head a little bit, uh, and just I say get a little bit of fresh air. Uh, so a little bit of foil there about two minutes ago uh, that will not make it into the video. I don't think you want to see that too much. Andy is, I don't know whether you can actually see him, over the over the brow of the hills, just in front of the pylon. You see him up there? I don't know how, how he's getting on, but we've got a couple of, couple of friends. What's the matter with you? Why the long face? Oh dear. I think I got that one out of Christmas cracker. Camel. I know. There we go. Yeah. Nice, aren't you? Mm -hmm. There we are. Yeah. Anyway, um, I say I've had a had a little break, and we'll uh, we'll continue on. I'll give it about another hour and see how we go. So hopefully we'll see you on the next hole with something decent. This one's an iffy, 80, 85, 86, 87, good that way, no, not, not quite as clever that way, but, we'll have a look. Just 
still in there. We'll take one more spadeful out. And then we'll... We'll, uh, we'll get the pinpoint. Oh, God. There's a waste of time, that one. Come on. Oh, we're out. We are out. Is that at the end? Maybe on the top. A little bit of lead, possibly. Yeah, something here. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Best find of the day. I was just talking about these to someone yesterday. It's a little lead musket ball. And if you've watched any of my videos, I love finding a musket ball. Don't know where this is, maybe hit something. Or... There's a big a big gouge out it anyway, just there. Where is it? Where did it went? Just there. But that's maybe from rolling around in the in the soil. I've been clipped by the, the plough at one point. Yeah. I love finding these. Again, um age wise oh, pretty early. Um I would say maybe eighteen hundreds. Early to mid 1800s, I would say, on that one. Yeah. And then they started to introduce like the mini ball lead bullets. Uh, so, yep. Fantastic. A great little find. On to the next. Another little musket ball. This time, it has hit something. Flat. Now, I came down here. The last musket ball I found, which I think was just the clip you've just saw, I thought, I'll head down this way. You know, try to use a bit of logic that they may have been hunting deer and firing up the hill. But, well, I mean, who knows? <clears throat> so I thought there might have been some folk lying in the grass down here and uh, hiding, shooting up at deer or, you know, something like that. But if this one's hit something and the one up, one up there was round, so maybe they were shooting down the way. Maybe they've dropped it up there and shooting down here. Who knows? It's worth a shot. So hang about here for another half hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll call it a day. So, yep, basketball number two. Two in a row, actually. Nice little find again. Well, that's us for another day, and it is the last dig of the year. Um, we were supposed to be going to a dig tomorrow up in Edinburgh, where the, uh, the last group dig was, um, if you've watched my last video. But the weather is to be horrendous tomorrow. Snow and rain um, working its way across the, the central belt of Scotland. So I figured I don't fancy getting stuck up in Edinburgh if, uh, if the roads are bad or, you know, you, you can't get through them. So it's not worth it. So I uh, thought we'll come out today, a couple of hours, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll start afresh in the new year. Uh, obviously when you see this, it will be in the new year. I'm hoping to have this video out probably early next week. Um, so, but yeah, it's been a good year. Um, I, I can't lie, started the channel in May. Uh, and the goal for the year was 500 subscribers. Um, and then for the goal for the end of 2024 was 1,000 subscribers. But uh, I got to about... 460 and then it just went through the roof and now I'm um, 3,300 subscribers um, uh, absolutely phenomenal uh, so it's, it's nice um, you know when I'm out digs group digs and down at you know detecting rallies and stuff like that people recognize you and like to chat so it's opened a lot of doors um, I've made some really really good friends um, with the, with the LP team um, and more recently if any eagle-eyed viewers have spotted uh, at the beginning of the video I am uh, now with Recton rather than LP um, so hello to Seb and Marcus and Nigel down at Recton it's, uh, it's been good chatting and working with you for the past couple of weeks um, I don't quite have a new discount code yet for Recton uh, but I'll hopefully get that in the next couple of weeks uh, so yeah, exciting times ahead. Um, I just felt that changing over to Regton was right for me and right for the channel. Um, get a good, really good uh, vibe from Seb, who I've met a couple of times. Fantastic guy. So big shout out to Seb down at Regton. Um, always uh, flying the flag down there when I'm when I meet him at Detectiveville. 
So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, not a, not an amazing day detecting today, unfortunately, but it can't always be good. But the main aim for today was to get out, uh, get the cobwebs blown off, get the machine fired back up, and try out a few a few things on uh, version 0.71. Uh, I'm still still on the fence, to be honest. <laughs> I can't lie. Uh, 1.1 was pretty good, but I felt that I was digging quite a lot of iron. Uh, but going by today, I dug a little bit of iron, uh, not a great amount. <clears throat> um, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to go out maybe one day next week if the weather's okay. I'm going to run it again in 0.71 and try it on that, see how we go. And then I'm going to go forward to version 2.0. Uh, and see if I notice a major difference. Uh, me and Andy tried a couple of targets together. Uh, he's in 1.1 and I'm in 0.71. There was basically nothing in it. Um, we're both getting similar results over iron. Um, but yeah, I think it's maybe a little early just to decide yet what, what I'm going to do. Uh, there is a lot of features on 1.1 or you know version 2 that I, I do like. Uh, I just felt that I said I was digging a lot of iron, but you know, that's, a, that's a conversation for another day. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you very much um, for everything this year. The, all the subscribers, all the all the likes, everything that, you know, all the all the kind donations made to the channel throughout the year. It's all, all helping grow the channel. As you can see, things are really progressing well, uh, and... Uh, I think 2024 is going to be a big year uh, and very exciting, uh, which one I'm looking forward to as well. So uh, thank you very much for sticking around to the end. Um, I hope everybody's had a great Christmas and a fantastic new year. Um, and as always, I've been the Airshow Detectorist. Uh, look after yourself and we will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now.